Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Many will regret not loading up on XRP. That's a quote from a very popular XRP chart analyst. And I gotta say, even though I'm not willing to make price predictions because I'm not a chart guy and I don't want to be one, uh, I firmly believe, yes, of course, I've been saying it for years, XRP will hit a new all-time high in enter price discovery, but I wanna add here that I think there are gonna be a lot of people that will recognize when this happens, and it'll be too late then, that they just don't have enough XRP, which means there are a lot of people right now that frankly don't have enough XRP. Just mark my words, I'm gonna see all sorts of people blown away, surprised, oh, how, how, how could we have known this was going to come? It's coming, folks. And to me, it looks incredibly obvious. Also share with you some updates in terms of uh, what the market on the whole is doing, led by Bitcoin, of course, because as I frequently say, even if you don't give a damn about Bitcoin, even if you don't hold it, uh, you should care about what it's doing because it leads the market. And right now, I'll tell you at the outset, don't want to tease too much, but uh, broad expectations, yes, X, uh, 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 sorry, Bitcoin first, of course, <laughs> then XRP. Bitcoin is ultimately going to continue ripping to the upside. So all we have to do in the short term is just kind of go through some consolidation, bide our time, and then we going to get ours. And yes, altcoins are absolutely going to rock. And I got some stuff you're really going to love to hear. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this video, it is 3.34 a.m. Central Time, Saturday, March 30th, 2024. XRP, 62 and a half cents. Bitcoin, just a hair over $70,000. Um, so a lot of sideways stuff over the last re the last few days, but people still uh, feel pretty greedy on the whole. Here's a crypto fear and greed index at 75 out of 100. So not an extreme greed, but, but good old fashioned regular greed. Uh, here's a post from chart analyst Credible Crypto talking about Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's uh, Bitcoin probs going to continue ranging for a few more days at least. Bids now capping price on the downside or attempting to the same way asks were capping upside earlier. Open interest is building up up though, so we should get some nice volatility once we break out of this range. So there we go. And all likelihood, he thinks we're gonna see what we want to see probably within the next few days or so. Um, here's a post from another popular analyst, Altcoin Sherpa. Um, nothing but the utmost confidence, yes, Bitcoin ultimately going to continue ripping to the upside. He says, Bitcoin, price has consolidated here for about one month. Overall, this is bullish, and I don't think we go lower than that range at $60,000 in the short term, he writes in parentheses, expecting a bit more chop, and then we do the next leg up. No reason to be bearish at all, in my opinion. And so I will say this, it, I, I, I follow a ton of different chart analysts, and it's hard to find any that have been around for a while who are considered broadly to be reputable, uh, who, who think that, uh, no, this is pretty much all she wrote. Everyone under the sun <laughs> believes that we are going to continue ripping to the upside. And... You know, given that there are a ton of metrics you can look at and you can look at actual human behavior to kind of figure out, okay, maybe we are finally reaching the top. We're not seeing those types of indicators right now. I saw them firsthand in the last two market cycles that I was a part of, last two blow-off tops. We are not seeing anything close to that here. We're seeing accumulation. We're seeing whale activity that would indicate, you know, those, uh, <laughs> those you know, whales getting aquatic AF, splishy, splashy mofos. They are not done here. They are not done purchasing fear from people who panic sell. They're absolutely doing that. So once this gets going, party does resume. And what do you think happens for alts? Which is where the real excitement is. Let's be real. It's XRP and there'll be other coins that are absolutely going to melt faces. But that's where the real action is. It's altcoins. That's where the opportunity is this, this cycle for pretty much any regular human uh, to achieve life-changing wealth. Uh, here's a post from chart analyst Jelly who says, Bitcoin is still chopping around right above the 2021 cycle highs. Don't get shaken out. And so he's been sharing that uh, that message in a lot of different ways recently. And I mean, just the fact that you're seeing this, which by the way is normal. Once once a new all-time high is hit, it can take a little bit of time before you see a breakout to the upside with tremendous conviction. But inevitably, historically, it's always come. So you don't know for sure exactly which day it's going to happen. 
But in terms of drawing upon past experiences to conclude what is most probable, yeah, this is what's most probable, a rip to the upside. So we just keep watching, and it's more of the same old, same old on that front until it actually comes. But one of these days, you'll wake up, you'll check your portfolio, it'll just be running, and this will be why. Here's a post from chart analyst Ali Martinez, and he's talking about Ethereum, which, you know, I've been holding since 2017. Uh, I don't really care about it. Uh, same, like, same as I don't really, I'm not excited about Bitcoin. Uh, the, the vast majority of the wealth that I'm ever going to get out of it, even though I, I, you know, I still have those positions to sell, I've, hold, I've held them, them so long. Uh, from this point moving forward, the multiplier effect that I'm going to get from this exact moment it's not going to be that great. I've already gotten the vast majority out of it that I want to. I just need to actually sell it. Um, I just haven't yet because, well, Bitcoin, I think it's got room to run. And then Ethereum, it hasn't even hit a new all-time high yet. So I'm going to wait until past that happens to start scaling out of that position. And I would like to see Bitcoin probably above $100,000 before I start scaling out of that one too. And I'm in no rush to. I, I'm, I'm really not. You know, even if I didn't sell those two this market cycle and I just sold uh, all of my, the rest of my altcoins, okay, cool. I have a feeling that that's going to be more than sufficient. But, uh, but anyway, the reason I wanted to highlight this is because, of course, money flows into Bitcoin first. Uh, then broadly speaking, I know meme, meme coins have been hopping, but hopping right now. But broadly speaking, it's Bitcoin, then ETH, and then other large caps, mid caps, rinse and repeat, you, you know, so on and so forth. And so here is an indicator worth knowing. Uh, chart analyst Ali Martinez says, despite the Ethereum price correction seen over the past few weeks, ETH whale transactions are on the rise a bullish indicator for future ETH price movements. Take it for what it's worth. Chart on the screen indicating as much. I'm telling you, like, this is not... Is this what you think whales are going to be doing at the, at the cycle top? Like, it's just... We're not there. There's so much to look forward to. It doesn't make a damn bit of sense in the world to be scared here. That's what I believe anyway. Here's another post from chart analyst Jelly talking about altcoins, which, of course, is, again, what I actually care about. Should be what you actually care about. Anyway, he says, altcoins went through 18 months of accumulation, broke out, and then retested key support successfully. Uh, pretty sure altcoins will do tremendously in Q2. I'm ready. Are you? And so he shares this chart and um, shows what a uh, you know, accumulation schematic here, Wyckoff events. So this is the typical chart uh, formation, roughly what it looks like when, you, when you're in Wyckoff accumulation. And you can see that we are, according to this, you know, clearly through the sign of strength, which is a part of this, which is why you've seen a burst to the upside afterwards. But this thing can be sustained. Like uh, the market, it can run hot and oversold for very long periods of time, which is why you see tremendous bubbles form in, in Bitcoin and crypto, broadly speaking, because the market goes way oversold for way, way, way longer than a lot of people think that it rationally should. But that's the fun part. That's absolutely broadly speaking, what I'm expecting here, but you can see where we are at in terms of this, this formation here. The best is yet ahead. So what about XRP? Well, here's a post from chart analyst Cryptos, and he said, XRP, just a bounce to resistance, nothing exciting until we can clear and close above 66 cents. So again, at the time I'm recording this, uh, XRP, about 62 and a half cents. He says, what do you, <laughs> if you're tracking XRP against the dollar anyway, that's the level to watch, 66 cents, and then more likely to move more dramatically to the upside. Uh, here's a post from Mikey Bull Crypto. XRP. This is looking like the last buying opportunity before it takes off. Probably nothing. Uh, now, a couple things on this. I will absolutely acknowledge, I have heard that, uh, that's, that phrase more times than I could possibly count over the last six plus years. You know, that this is the last opportunity to buy XRP uh, before it's this cheap. But here's the thing. We are in a bull market. Like, <laughs> like, this is one of the few instances where it makes sense to suppose, yeah, that actually could be true. Most of the time, no. Most of the time, it's sideways and downward price action. Now, though, uh, no, it's looking good. And so he's calling for um, XRP, and not that this would necessarily be the cycle top, but he's calling for $6 XRP as indicated on the screen here. That sounds pretty damn conservative. That sounds very realistic to me. Uh, here's a post from chart analyst JD. Many will regret not loading up within my orange box for XRP. 2024 is the year it will rocket. Haters will be believers. Mark my words. 2024 will be the year the 5% 
Uh, for, uh, I'm sorry. The, yeah, 2024 will be the year the 5% take advantage of the 95%. It's going to be a fun but very sad bull cycle for the 95%. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I'm looking at this. There are so many naysayers when it comes to XRP, and a lot of them are just toxic Bitcoin maxi trolls. Uh, you know, a lot of ideologues. But uh, they're going to have to acknowledge reality, which is why when I see these these posts from these idiot sticks, that's why I save them to my bookmarks. I have a future dunks bookmark tab on X. And I just save all of them. I'm assuming that they're going to go back and try and delete a bunch of them. I'll have to screen grab them at some point too, I suppose. But uh, it's it's just... It's, it's like, that's because for a lot of them, it's like, Bitcoin is a religion to some of these fanatics. And some people, they're just, they have XRP derangement syndrome. It's just the most bizarre thing. XRP is one of the most popular coins in existence, most successful with one of the largest communities on the planet. But then on the flip side, it's also one of the most hated, broadly speaking, in the world of crypto because there are a bunch of idiots out there. So the fun, fun part for us is that we have a lot of these idiot sticks on record saying some dumbass stuff. So, when XRP inevitably does hit a new all-time high in enterprise discovery, it's going to be pretty rich highlighting some of this stuff here. Because it's, it's not just about being wrong. It's, it's about a, a complete lack of rationality, a complete lack of logic, reason, and data. It's just, I feel this way about this alphanumeric code. Like, like that's pretty much what it is. That's how stupid it is. I don't like this computer code. I feel things about it. Shut the hell up. <laughs> So, um, a lot of people, not sufficiently positioned, but when this thing goes, yeah. It's too late then. Sorry, too bad, so sad. Here's a post from uh, uh, chart analyst Crypto Insight UK. XRP versus Bitcoin update. I'm going to make this full screen. Uh, this looks more and more promising each day. Seem to be basing at a higher low. I would like to see more volume come in to confirm break and the hidden bullish divergence. And so he, he was talking about that recently, how he thinks that there's hidden bullish divergence here on the XRP BTC chart, likely to move higher here. And this was in the morning, uh, technically yesterday, uh, March yeah, March 29th. Uh, here's the latest. This is the next XRP BTC chart just pulled up on TradingView. And the bottom was on March 11th. So still hanging out above that. You can see that, so if, if these are the lows here, and I'm not pretending to be a chart guy, this is just obvious stuff that anybody like me who is not a chart guy is aware of if you've just been in the space for more than five seconds. Uh, watch for higher lows. And so they work here, obviously, where I'm circling right now. But what if these are? The point being, and this is pretty much every XRP analyst I've seen that is talking about the XRP BTC pair and, hi BTC pair and highlighting why it's important, because historically this is the moment before thing goes, things go. It, you know, it, if they're right, and that really was the bottom, and that was March 11th, as long as it stays above here, fantastic. And, and frankly, in the last few days, XRP has been out for performing Bitcoin, which is what we've been told to expect in the Bitcoin if indeed this is that moment. Um, and it's not that it absolutely has to be. It's just that this is broadly speaking and leading up. I was, If you go back to my videos in the days leading up to that moment, it was every analyst that I follow that talks about XRP saying, yeah, this is pretty much it. Not that they knew the, ex the like the literal bottom, but they were calling that for days in advance. Like this is pretty much it. And to watch for a reversal to the upside, we got a big move to the upside actually. And then from that there, and by the way, that's historically what we've seen in the past previous market cycles. And then you just got to watch to see if, you, if you're getting higher lows, which, which if this is it, then one, two, maybe this is the third one that we're in right now. We'll, we'll watch. We don't know for sure. Um, you know, it's, it's not absolutely guaranteed, but this is what a lot of analysts have been saying to watch for. So I'm very curious about what happens with the XRP BTC pair, um, because this, this has been one of those indicators in the past where it's like, well, when we reach this moment and XRP looks this terrible priced against Bitcoin and there's the, this level of despair on social media with people bitching up a storm on the internet. Yeah, this is what historically has preceded monstrous moves for XRP to the upside. And it's always been in these moments where you do have uh, just incredible excitement in the, from speculators in the asset class. And we do see that. And we do see everything heating up and taking off. Yeah, of course, XRP is going to be a, a part of that, which is why it's going to be hilarious when all the idiots out there who just for reasons don't like XRP when they're proven wrong. It's going to be glorious. So anyway, sit tight. We'll keep watching and seeing what happens. But uh, you know, even though nobody knows for sure when this is going to, to finally, like, psh, really break to the upside once it hits a certain couple levels um 
yes, we're going to have a major impulse. XRP will be back above a dollar again. Uh, this, this is my conviction anyway. And nobody knows for sure what's going to happen, and I'm not so bold as to make a price prediction. But those are my general expectations directionally of where XRP should go uh, over the course of this bull market. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because if anything I say are right, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.